and we're here today at the Ute Tower site where we've just completed restoration of the Ute Tower, a fire tower, the last remaining one in Utah. The Ute Tower was first built, constructed and completed in 1937 and was operated as fire lookout tower. It's the last remaining fire lookout in tower in Utah. Well, the U Tower is really significant to the local communities. They look at this and are just overjoyed at the fact we decided to renovate this and restore it. And the main reason is, is that it represents such an important part of the history of the area. And many people have experiences either coming up and looking at it or being a part of working here and seeing it. And uh, it had widespread community support. They're just excited about the completion of the tower. The tower is made out of wood, just Douglas fir that they milled, and over time snow collects and water collects down the base. And so in um, 1967 they did evaluation of the tower and found out that there was major wood rot in the bottom and that the, the structural beams of the tower basically could fall over. So they did that um, a repair in the 1980s and, and rededication in 1987. That same type of damage has been happening and we did another evaluation in 2008 and found the same type of rot in all, in all four of the bottom legs. So we did a, um, we closed down the tower for safety purposes. Our structural engineer indicated that the tower could fall at any time. We didn't want people up inside it or underneath it because of the safety hazard. So we closed it down in 2008 and then we've been look, searching for funding and finally they began renovation and where they replaced basically all four of the legs on the bottom and then some of the cross pieces. To be able to come up here, see this, and get an understanding of what, what they were doing and why they were doing fire suppression, this is one of the best places in Utah to be able to get an experience with that. You go up and walk up the, the narrow stairs, you get to the top of the catwalk, you look around, see the view, you, and just get an appreciation of this being a very remote location with the only connection you have to the outside world is basically a telephone line. People coming up here and watching fires being in this remote area and getting a sense of that is so different than the world we live in that has cars, roads, telephones, cell phones, everything like that. This, this allows you to have appreciation of history you can't get in other places.